Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is the brand new Magic Mouse 2 and Magic Keyboard. You can see right here it says Magic Mouse 2. This is the new Magic Keyboard, which is supposed to be a lot thinner than the previous version, and we'll take a look at that in just a moment. They come in at $79 for the mouse, and the keyboard I believe is $100. You can see right there, $100. I think these are about 10 to $20 more than the previous version. And honestly, you could get the Magic Mouse with just about any iMac or whatever you wanted. They also released a Magic Trackpad 2, which I find a little bit more interesting and will be out soon. I actually ordered one of those, it just hasn't arrived yet. But let's go ahead and open this up. I made a little cut down here. This was in my local store. They just announced these today, and by the time you're seeing this, it could be the next day. But let's take a look at this. One of the differences is that these actually have rechargeable batteries, both of these devices. So that's the inside of the box there. Nothing really to see there. Here's the mouse itself. And inside is rechargeable batteries, so there's no longer that door on the bottom. And I guess this is the charge port, which is kind of ridiculous, but we'll talk about that in just a moment. So we pull this off here, and these devices charge via lightning adapter. So this will work with your iPhone adapter, or this can just be an extra one. But this actually charges via this spot right here. Now this supports quick charging, and with about two minutes of charge, they say you'll be able to actually use it for about nine hours. So if it does go dead, you've got that amount of time, and then you can use it later. Now let me bring the other magic mouse in the last generation which i've been using for some time you can see it's quite filthy and it's on and they don't look too dissimilar they've updated these pads a little bit said they feel a little bit different but you no longer have this door on the bottom instead you have rechargeable batteries like i said inside and it seems well pretty similar in dimension let me remove this here pretty similar this is the new one on the left. Feels a little bit lighter without the heavier AA batteries inside. And I know a lot of people really don't like these mice. Uh, I actually do like them for editing. They're not very ergonomic. They're not comfortable to hold all day. You kind of hold them like this and operate it like this. And that's how you use it. If you don't like it, you can get that new Magic Trackpad, which I'll probably be, which I'll probably be using anyway, and it looks really nice. So we'll check that out after. But you pair this by plugging it in, plugging it into your Mac, and then it just pairs. You do have to have Bluetooth 4.0, and also have to have OS 10. I think it's 10.11 El Capitan. If you don't have that, you can't use this. So it's only compatible with those particular versions. So let's set this aside and take a look at the new keyboard. So this is the keyboard. Now, I don't usually use Apple's keyboard. I actually use a Logitech keyboard, the solar-powered keyboard. I have it right here. And this is what I normally use because it has a number pad on it. And I like to have a number pad, and you never have to recharge it. But I thought I'd check this one out because they say it's similar to the new Apple MacBook. And I really like that MacBook keyboard, even though it's got a short key travel. So here is the keyboard itself. Let's remove this, it's wrapped up, very light. Then we've got another lightning cable, so it's nice to have some extra ones, and then some literature about the keyboard. It looks like that's it. No stickers, and I didn't check for the mouse to have stickers or not, I don't think there's anything in there. No, no stickers with the mouse. So let's set this part aside and take a look at the keyboard itself. So we'll open this up. And here is the keyboard. This feels incredibly light compared to the old one. It's plastic on the bottom. On the back, uh, you can see we have this little bar here. I'm not really sure what that's all about yet. It does flex a little bit too. If you see I'm flexing it, you can kind of see that. We've got our lightning cable here. And these are the keys. Now this is the actual angle on the side here. Let the camera refocus for a second. So there's that angle. It's just a slab now, and it lays flat. It's actually stuck quite good to the the table, and this has more key travel than the previous, or the MacBook I mentioned before. Uh, the keys don't look too much different, but they have changed the arrow keys to, to match that of the MacBook. Uh, but these feel like they must have those new switches in them, but with a little bit more travel than the actual MacBook. So they feel pretty good, and then you have all your shortcut keys on the top, like you'd expect.
So that's nice as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pair these up. Uh, I'm not really sure what this light is. Let me find this out real quick. So actually going through this little manual here, it doesn't really point out anything as far as what that little plastic part is for. In fact, you see here it just says on off switch and lightning port. So there's not really anything saying what this is, but it's probably something simple that I'm missing. And it's probably just for the antenna, quite honestly, because the top is metal and the bottom is plastic. So maybe that's all that's about. But let me know in the comments below if you know. Uh, let's go ahead and pair this up and see what we've got here. actually have a lightning cable already plugged into my Mac that I'm using. Let's plug it in here, turn it on, and see how we pair it and see how that works. So immediately it popped up on my screen. It says your keyboard is ready to use. Let's see what kind of settings we have. And you can see it says charging. Maybe we've got something under advanced. Uh, not really anything there. Let's go under keyboard and you can see some of the different things we have here. I don't see a whole lot of different options or anything. Basically the same thing we had before. Let's do the same with the mouse. I'll go ahead and turn it on, plug it in, see what we've got on the screen. And it says mouse is ready to use. That's certainly easier than you can see I'm using this mouse right now, but let's see if we've got anything else here. Nothing really there, and that's pretty much it. Let's take a look under settings one more time and see what we've got. So nothing really different as far as that goes. Point and click, basically all the same, but we're now we're using a new mouse. So now that I've paired these new mice and keyboard, I've actually used the mouse a little bit and noticed a couple different things in that it actually slides around a little bit easier compared to the previous version. You can see it's going to be hard to show you that, and the, the, re the reflective surface is basically the same, but let me push this. It's got a little bit more force, takes a little bit less force to slide this around, and the click sounds a little bit newer, and that could be because it's newer, or maybe it's got a different button. Let me bring these up to the mic so you can hear it. Old mouse, new mouse. So just those couple of things, everything else feels basically the same. Uh, this is definitely lighter, but it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Otherwise, they don't feel any different to me in my hand at all. Uh, they don't really feel any different at all uh, holding my hand over them. But after playing around with the keyboard for a little bit, I found that it has pretty good key travel, definitely more than the new MacBook. And I would say it's somewhere in between a MacBook Pro and the new MacBook, probably halfway, somewhere in there. There's good key travel, good feedback. The keys don't feel wobbly or anything. And let me show you up close how much travel we have here. So if I push on this, you can see that it clearly moves quite a bit. I don't know the actual spec for key travel, but it looks pretty good and actually feels good. Uh, it feels like a nice typing surface. I haven't used it long term, and I'll let you know in the future if anything changes, but it feels really solid, especially laying flat, and it's definitely really stuck to this table. This is just a simple desktop table, and it's not moving anywhere. These feet on the bottom really seem to do a good job holding this in place so it's not really moving anywhere and it's again another nicely made product from apple that's pretty much it let me know what you think of the new magic keyboard and the magic mouse 2 we'll be taking a look at the magic trackpad 2 when it arrives and it actually has some pretty interesting features that i'm anxious to use other than that though that's pretty much it this feels very, very light. That, that part I wasn't really ready for. I thought it'd feel a little bit more hefty, but I guess it really doesn't matter. But let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.